Cause we don't wanna grow up Welcome back to my channel. Lauren Stewart here. Don't worry, I took notes. I'm very prepared for today. Today I'm going to show you how to navigate Washington, D.C. like a freaking pro. Sensible shoes, guys. Sensible shoes. Just go back to our house from DC. Yeah, we're all alive still, but I'm gonna show you what was in my bag that I took. Here's my bag. I went to DC today with this. I took a little Chanel tote. It's not very heavy. It's full of all the things. I'm gonna tell you a couple of tips to getting around the city with tiny children because I have babies, like little ones. Dawson's six months old. Okay, so I have one baby and two massive kids. First off, Washington DC is a city where you will be doing a little bit more walking than maybe typically you would, especially if you're going to be going to see the sights on the mall and any of the museums. First off, water bottles. Cheers. We color coordinate them as in Chase, Lila, nobody fights okay and then I don't bring a ton of stuff in my bag um, just because you either have to carry it or like dig through it to find whatever you want when I go to DC I bring a stroller push it downtown push it downtown push it push it downtown that's the one thing but some places in DC don't allow for strollers hi my friend DC though is very dog friendly if you bring your puppy bring a leash take them to DC and it is so fun there's so many parks good for kids good for dogs but the thing I was going to tell you that I bring is a sling. Wild bird slings are really cute. I got this one. It was called a luxury sling off of Amazon. I feel adorable in it. I also love the fabric. Love the color. I just got this to use. This I got for my birthday. Dear Sean, thanks for my birthday. In my bag, I have four diapers, a thing of water wipes, butt cream, and a butt spatula. Butt spatula might need to be clean. But these two go together hand in hand. I just like to have them just in case. Next, I have, boom! Hand sanitizer, because a lot of people touch a lot of things in DC and you don't know what those other people touched. Hand sanitizer. I also bring a portable battery with me so that if my phone does die, I can still use my GPS to get out of there. The next thing that I bring is a wallet. It's got all the essentials. Then a teething passy for Dawson sunglasses for me oh another diaper so I actually brought five diapers apparently two sets of car keys so that's what I bring in here besides that for me I also brought lip plumper and lip gloss you never know when you find the perfect spot to take a photo in DC to say hey guys I've been here few things DC is very family friendly it has like blown up in the last I think it's like the last 10 years or so lots of young families are moving into DC so if you go into Washington DC and you go into the Northeast and out that direction there are parks that you can take your kids so you're away from all the buildings there's grass there's playgrounds and like I said if you bring your fur animals your fur babies I don't, most people don't travel with their cats but if you travel with your dog there's dog parks in DC super 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 easy to drive around the one trick is the lights are typically up in the corners of the streets not across the middle don't run any of the lights you'll get t-boned a couple of my favorite spots in DC. Um, number one is actually Arlington Cemetery. Now, the reason that I love Arlington, it's not one that we go to like all the time, but it's one where you go and everybody that's there can just like feel the history and there's like such a deep respect for those who have given their lives and it's just a really beautiful experience and to watch the changing of the guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Fun fact, the Library of Congress offers children's friendly tours. It's one of the only places I feel like where you go and they make a huge concerted effort to involve your children but at the end when you walk into the library they actually take you through the library and then into a children's library at the Library of Congress. Fun fact about this, if you reach out to your local office so like we would reach out to our local congressman they can set up private tours for you through their office you can get tours of the capitol you can get tours of the library of congress you can see like 
all of the tunnels underneath the city, which is really, really, really neat. And the, the only way you really get to go do the tunnels is if you schedule a private tour with your congressman or senator. Anyone can do it, they're free, and you just Google who they are, Google their DC office, and get their phone number and give them a call and you can schedule it. We always take our kids on these, and these are stroller friendly, and they are so, so informative. It's just really neat to like go into the Capitol and to see and to go under the tunnels. Um, I know that DC is like a whole different experience than a lot of other places that you will go. And as long as you're willing to just like jump in and go for it, you're gonna be able to do a lot of really cool things. There is one spot inside the Capitol. This is one of my favorite rooms. It's in a big round like chamber. And there's one spot in there and even when it is packed full of people, there is a little spot where one person can stand here and one person can stand here and, and talk into the floor and it holds your voice and echoes it and transports it with no speakers, no electronics. It's all just the architecture and the natural acoustics in the room. So you can communicate spread across the entire room, this person and this person. And it's so neat. But those are the kinds of things that you will only get to do if you schedule a private tour with your um, elected officials. So my favorite time to come and do like touristy stuff is in October. The weather is starting to not be as hot and the leaves are changing at the end of October. All the leaves change and it's such a beautiful time of year to come to DC. Now for food, Food. If you go straight down Pennsylvania Avenue away from the Capitol, you have so many options. District Taco, we the pizza, and there's so many, there's such a good variety of like salads and ice creams and frozen yogurts and those kinds of things. So amazing. And if you do happen to come in the summertime and you're here on a weekend, go to Eastern Market. If you would like to have an experience where you can browse like local artists, local chefs, and local farmers bring in their produce and they just bring it in and you can browse and buy and sample and some of the most beautiful pieces of art I have ever seen have been out just at Eastern Market. So don't hesitate to do it. I, I drive in. There is parking to be found around the National Mall. I usually can find parking by the Natural History Museum. There is also parking between the Natural History. Okay, so when I say that, between the Natural History Museum and the mall, there's a one-way road that goes around. I can always find parking in there. Also, if you go, to, if you drive in, and you're not taking an Uber, if you go past the Library of Congress onto the um, neighborhood side, there's the Library of Congress and then one more big building. And if you park right there, you're two blocks, three blocks away from the Library of Congress, the Supreme Court, the House office buildings, the Senate office buildings. Like if you're going in to meet your congressman or your senator or whatever, there is parking to be found. Don't be worried about that. If you park between the major buildings and the residential areas, great, 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 great parking. I drive everywhere because I have kids and it's hot and I don't like to have to walk. So anyways, lots of parking. Also, so if you get really tired and you just want to go back to your like rental or whatever, Uber Eats is killer in DC. So good. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you love this video and I hope that you had so many tips and look what I can do. Can you do this? No? Okay. Well, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!